Hey, I'm Brandon. I'm Roshi. And I'm Giselle. And today we're going to be showing and explaining the use of bronchohygiene therapy in the hospital setting. So one of the ways we use bronchohygiene therapy in the hospitalization setting is the use of CPT. One of the main devices we'll use on our patient is the percussive. Hey, Mr. Smith. My name is Roshi and I'm going to be doing a chest percussion on you. As Roshi is demonstrating the CPT device, the main use of this device is to mobilize secretions in the patient. While using this device, we want to avoid any surgical sites, bony areas. Also, we want to use this device at least five minutes on each lobe, and it can also be used on the patient posteriorly. Hey, Mr. Smith. The doctor has ordered to do some chest PT on you. I'm going to do it manually. All right, cut it. CPT can also be used with the palm of your hand. As you see, Giselle is making a cup with her hand, mimicking the very vibrations that a percussor uses on the patient on each lobe. Postural drainage is the use of gravity moving the excess secretions to a different location in the lungs. With postural drainage, we have different positions that we can place our patient in to move the secretions. One of the main positions that we like to use in the hospital setting is Trendelenburg position. As you can see on our patient, we have him in Trendelenburg position, moving the secretions from the base of his lungs to the upper part. Moving secretions while using postural drainage can also be helpful while placing your patient in prone position. Placing your patient in prone position can also help with oxygenation in COVID patients and in RS patients. Now the last device we'll be showing an example of today is our flutter valve. Our flutter valve is also used to our patients to help mobilize secretions. Hey, Mr. Smith, the doctor has ordered you to do a flutter valve, all right? This is gonna help break up those secretions. I need you to make a tight seal around the mouthpiece and blow on it 10 times. For any bronchial hygiene therapy, the common indications are for ineffective cough and copious secretions, but it's most found in patients with cystic fibrosis and bronchiectasis. With any of the bronchial hygiene therapies that you do, there is the risk of complications. Some of these complications can be hypoxemia, increased intracranial pressures greater than 20, acute hypertension, pulmonary hemorrhage, aspiration, bronchospasm, and arrhythmias. During postural drainage, if any of these were to happen, stop the therapy, document, and inform the MD. So here are a couple of more postal drainage positions that we will place our patients in. If you have to, stop the video and you will be able to see exactly how we will position our patients. And also you will be able to locate where exactly we're trying to move the secretions from. Thank you.